Hello, everyone. We're going to uh, another Rim World. It's uh, it's an early uh, Sunday morning for me right now. I've got some coffee. Just had a little bit of breakfast, and uh, I think doing a um, ice sheet or tundra Rim World would be a lot of fun. So I'm going to create a world. Just randomize it. So it's uh, N six zero Y. Uh, this world's generated. It's got a lot of uh, Arctic, so uh, save and finish. A new colony. Um, we're going to try it on rough. This might not be a very long play, but... Uh, so, Elnath Mahazam hmm. is the name of this one. So, do we want... Uh, that has a growing period. I, I want to try a place without a growing period. The real question is, is do we want uh, mountains or not mountains? So, on this ice sheet, let's find a place that has... Okay, that has three different... Three different stone types for us. So, let's just select this little island. We won't know we're on the island, because... We probably won't see the water. So, the first person the game gave us is Doug Black. Uh, he's very good at melee, good construction, good mining... Um, has an interest in research, crafting, and uh, he's artistic. So we will keep Doug. He's 40 years old. Ruslan. Good shooting, good melee, and an interest in mining and growing. He's incapable of caring, so no social. Uh, no medicine. He is psychically dull, a fast walker, and an optimist. I like all of those things. Is there anything about Doug that was... He's an optimist. Incapable of cleaning. So, lastly, we have... This guy's very good at social and research. So, we don't have anyone that's terrific at medicine. He, this guy does have an interest in medicine. So, he's an entrepreneur. Uh, he's also 40. How old is Ruslan? 54. So, kind of a middle-aged group here. He is steadfast, but also has chemical interests. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take these three. And we'll hit start. Three of you awake from your cryo sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making your plans to survive. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to pause it right off the start. I am using the EDB, uh, that UI plug-in mod. Um, I like really... I, I, I love having the, these little icons here to be able to go to whomever. Um, so let's take a quick look around the map. we got some food over here, food over here. I'm really looking for an area that has some geysers near some gravel. So this would be the first area that I'm liking. Some more food down here. The geyser out in the open. There's some buildings down here. Have a geyser. And gravel. It's not as close, maybe. This area is nice, too. This area is close to where we're starting. Aha, here's one right on the gravel. So this is what I want. 
So what I'm going to do is just kind of plan out an area. So what I want to do is something like... Uh, kind of large to start with, but it's kind of really what I want and need. We wall that off. Wall that off. Something like this. <clears throat> Pardon me. Because wherever there's gravel, we should be able to grow potatoes, provided it's warm enough and we have the lamps. Which means we will need power. So I do need the bench, but the first thing I'm going to do is to let we need geothermic power. Pose taste. The other thing I'm going to do... Well, I wonder how fast they can get this going. Because we do have the ability to use this area here as kind of a, a first bedding site. So, structure. Steel wall, steel wall, steel wall, steel door. Let's put a fire in here. And then our sleeping spots. And maybe, to start out, we will, uh, we'll put our research place here. It all, it all kind of fits. We're close to another geyser for more, more power. Let's go down to the crash site. Did I go too far? Yeah, it's over here. So, any and all food needs to be, uh available, because we're going to run out fast. Uh, Doug is not our shooter. He's our melee guy. He can shoot. Rustlin's our shooter, so Ian gets the pistol, and Rustlin gets the... It's not letting me click on it. I'll fix that in a second. We want medicine available. We do want the rest of that food available. We will need the wood. I'm not worried about the silver this early, but we do want any and all steel we can get our hands on. Um, I don't know if there's much more on this map or not. There's a lot we can mine, at least. Is there any hiding up through here? It's regular sandstone chunk. There's some. There's some. There's some more food. We might set one person to just start hauling. So, with this, we want to set up some zones. So, maybe we have a zone outside here. And this is going to be a preferred and only for food. and then the corpses of animals that we're going to eat. That way it stays, uh... stays nice and frozen. <clears throat> we 
do need a refuse. We can just put it close by for now. And then on the inside of our place... <coughs> pardon me. Actually, I'm going to make another one outside that we're going to build around to make it an inside one um, later. And it will be all of the other stuff. Something like that. No food there. No rotten there. Pretty much everything else. We'll, uh... Then we'll want some rock piles. These can add a, a little bit of safety. So put one here. One there. Maybe one here for now. All of these are going to be preferred. kind of want everything off. And the only thing we're going to do with this is stone chunks and slag chunks. And uh, copy these settings. And paste these settings. And paste these settings. So that kind of slows down movement of enemies. This isn't the best defendable position in the world, but it's it's not horrible. But um, it it offers us the best opportunity of uh, of surviving, provided we can get this built really quickly. So manual priorities. Uh, everyone firefighting. You are my doctor, right? Yes. So you're going to doctor first and foremost. This person is a miner with a lot of interest in mining. We have no hunting. There's no animals up here. Uh, he's going to be our cook. Be our grower, plant cutter. These guys can do it. This guy is our researcher first and foremost. And our warden. And, uh, but I want them hauling. There's nothing else that they're really... Uh, and I can have them help with the construction, but I want them to haul everything they can while our other guys are doing some mining and construction. Uh, cleaning will make a three. Hopefully we'll get another, uh, another colonist soon to help us with all this. Uh, yeah, mining a two there. See how it works out. Some silver ore. Let's 
So I want, um... I want them to start mining this right here in order to give us the steel to help build. So we're going to start it out maybe on speed two. If you remember, Russell and I had to kind of trick into getting this gun, and now he's off. Bed rolls are down. There's some cryo sickness going on by Doug here. So just claim this building. We have a home now. Fire needs to get started, and then we should see, uh... I'm gonna move the hauling down to a two, and I want Ian to get researching immediately. It's negative one outside in June, negative two. Right now it's uh, about the same on the inside. Doug's going to start that fire. It's going to give us about three days of burn time. Uh, four days. Doug is really slow at mining. He does have a, uh, a two flame interest. Three while everyone's taking their nap. Winds finally died down. I need to, to change the sound level on that. It's it's quite loud. Going for a walk, man. You need a place to live. Ian's got himself warmed up, and he's, uh, started researching. You can see the indoor temperature here is 28 degrees, so it's, it's quite toasty inside of the, uh, the temporary housing. curious why I haven't seen any uh, construction out of Doug. He should be laying all this down. Maybe because I'm a moron. I only have a planned structure down. So we've just lost a day.
that would explain it. Just make sure all this is right. So, steel walls. Uh, auto doors now. <clears throat> um, getting rid of all of that. We'll do something like that. I would like to open this up, but I'm afraid there could be something in there. We will, uh, we'll test it out after we get some auto cannons up, maybe. So this time when they wake up, there should be some building that actually occurs. <laughs> Look at that. And so here's an instance where this geothermic will be the thing that starts heating up our room. Uh, as much as it can, because it's gonna get cold. Colder, I mean it's already cold, but uh, colder pretty fast. see down here that the uh, research is a little over halfway done. So, uh, a name. Uh, kind of seem to be either like on an iceberg or an island. We're just gonna call this the ice flow. find out in a moment that this is too large to uh, completely roof in, but uh, I want to I want to find out before we go making more walls. So yeah, there's a hole right there. So I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna structure. <clears throat> so my intention isn't to waste the steel, but it's to give some support. Probably just put a pillar or two up also. A little more got put in. There we go. Everything's completely inside now. So we should see this room start to warm up. This says unroofed still. Why is that? few more walls here and there. We have some visitors, it looks like. I'm gonna get some furniture going. I need some beds. Geothermal power is done. 
We're gonna go straight to stone cutting. No, we're not. We're on an ice sheet. We're gonna go straight to hydroponics. A starship janitor named Henriette Turner calls you from nearby. She's being chased by pirates from the Slicers of Anguish. So we're going to have a little fight in order to attempt to get a 46-year-old um, starship janitor. We'll offer her her safety. So, they're going to be coming from the south. I do just want to get this down. So many people are going to chase her. It's just the one I think we're right. She barely has any clothes. She's got some like a shirt and pants. Her moving is weakened. She's got a stab scar on her leg. So I'm gonna set up Ian. And sorry, Rustlin, you're gonna have to wait to eat. Set him up behind the, uh, the stones here. So Ian is set up. Rustlin's on his way. Turner is running into the building. Doug can always pop out to do some melee. Uh, this guy does have a pistol. Headshot. So we have the perfect opportunity to use our front door area. As a prisoner. Uh, a little prison here. Ooh, is this finished? No. Crap. <clears throat> Alright, so... We will... Gonna change everything. So our room down here will be our our prison where the research table is. Can Turner use a gun? She can, but she sucks at it. We'll get her playing some horseshoes. I've heard horseshoes can help um, people with shooting. So Ian's got the pistol. He's going to go down and uh, capture. He can go about his business. And let's just kind of go slow here for a few seconds. So we're going to want to see if this uh, this character that was tracing Turner is worth our time in medicine. We can turn Ian off from being drafted. Let's look at Vujur. Uh, he's not going to be easy to recruit. He's got some fairly... I mean, they're, they're shoddy and poor, but he's got, like, a deer hide shirt parka. Stuff that we can use. He is young. She is young. It's a female. Capable of dumb labor. <laughs> Likes heat and is volatile. Um, yeah. Those aren't qualities I want around, though. <laughs> and, uh... 
Yeah, I... I don't think we're going to try to save her. If she lives, she lives. I think that we will take the clothing from her. So that, uh... Some of our actual colonists might, uh... Might be able to use them. A green thumb and an optimus. Cool. So let's go back to our overview. Everyone firefights. Patient. Doctoring is a 2. No, thank you. Construction is a 7. Um, yes, please. And she will be our primary grower. She can help with mining is a 2. Uh, she can tailor. Well, I bet everybody can tailor a little bit. We will need that soon, but we'll need the materials for that. So yeah, constructor and grower and maybe plant cutter. Let's go back up to full speed. need to see this power plant go up soon. Uh, sorry, this power plant. And they already are working on it, which is excellent. Has hypothermia. Um, slow down. We'll build another fire for her in here. Fire in here. And one in here. <clears throat> Just until we get some, uh, we need to put a vent in. getting uh, hypothermia. Zero degrees inside. Fires bring it up a bit. Got two fires roaring. And a third down here. And then we'll be out of wood soon, so uh, we really need to get this power going. A new wanderer joins. Let's pause. Take a look at this guy. Uh, Natsuki. She. She's got some pigtails. Her health is all good. She is naked. Or at least somewhat. She's got a parka and a pistol. And can't shoot. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, but she's great at construction, growing, and mining. Uh, intellectual, a crafter. Uh, though she has no crafting. Iron Weld, a masochist. She likes getting hurt. And she's a hard worker. So, um, yeah. Warner. I uh, want her to fight fires. want her to be a patient. I don't want her to warden. Uh, constructing, repairing, growing, mining, plant cutting, hauling, and cleaning. Uh, we'll try that for now with 
with uh, Natsuki. And we'll give her a sleeping spot next to Russell. And go back up to uh, speed three. See, they built a little snowman here. And Natsuki is already mining. To mark out a couple more areas here just so that we can. Uh, we need enough for this. There we go. Doug's getting it built. So we are on the grid now. Zone area, growing zone. Any place where we can grow, we are going to grow. So it's going to look something like that. So this area, we will grow potatoes. This area, we will try for... Um, which one is it that... I think it's the Zarin gum, Zerigulium, that makes like a medicine. Um, this area... I need more food. We can try corn. We can try cotton. I don't know what will grow in... Uh, what grows best in gravel other than the potatoes. So I'll try more potatoes here. So knowing that, <clears throat> we're going to want to uh, start expanding. Actually, no, we're not. We need some security. Just build the one turret for now. I do want some deadfall traps through here. So we will do that. We want a heater. A little climate control. stove by the door, maybe. Uh, we're going to want to put down some floors in some areas later. They do let you move around a lot faster. Sun lamps. We are going to put down an orbital trade beacon very soon in a comms console. Uh, batteries. So everything is indoors now. We are we have a good temperature up in the room, and. Uh, It's probably a good place to make a break. So, I'm going to make a cut in the video here. 
Uh, hope to see you in the next one. Hope you're enjoying uh, seeing us try to survive up in the uh, up in the complete barrens. So it should be interesting, um, or it could be really quick. We'll find out soon. And uh, hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.